Stop picking sides. Stop it. That's weirdo activity. Trust me. All right, everyone. Happy Sunday. Another unfavorable, unfavorable opinion. opinion video. Again, I happen to see this guy. He's not from California. We're from California. He's saying all of California, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Talking about pig inside. Yes. And what if you don't know what we're talking about? We're talking about the, the Chicano rap scene with these, uh, the rappers. What do you say, Emily? Northern California? Yes. And I just think that if you're Chicano, Mexican, Latino, and especially California, you should know about the North and South, the Norte, the Sud, all that. You should be familiar with that. You should have an idea. Yes. It's like us, okay? We're, we, we don't we don't affiliate with anyone. No. We've never been in gangsters. We don't, we don't do the, we're not into the whole, uh, what do you call it, rap scene or whatever you want to call Chicano it, right? Rap I do music. I do uh, yeah. traditional musica norteña. Okay, regional, mexicano, whatever. Let's talk about what this guy was saying, though. He's telling people, oh, go ahead and do a video. If you're a rapper and you're from out of state, it's okay for you to go and do a video with Lefty. And then if you want to go and do a video with Lazy Boy, then that's okay. I don't agree with that. And that's just our opinion, That's just right? my unfavorable and opinion. And why? I'm going to tell you why. It's just like us, okay? Because we've lived in California our whole lives. In Northern California, it's not necessarily a rule. No. Um, it's just... How would we say that? It's kind of like where, um, I guess, in your surroundings, or it's it would just, be mm, sorry, it's a it would be a conflict of interest. Yes. So what do you? What do I mean by a conflict of interest? For example, okay, it, it, we've talked about this in other videos and other subjects. If you don't like me, yeah, or, or we don't like each other, but we have a mutual friend. That's not good. Yeah. No. Because then she can go tell her friend what she doesn't like about me, and then she can go tell me, or she can make the person in the middle can make shit up, and then it can be like, oh, they said this. And no one has the balls. That's what I'm seeing here. This is yeah. what I'm seeing here, okay? I keep seeing all these videos about this lazy boy guy. And by the way, for the record, he blocked us on Instagram. Uh, whatever. He blocked us on Instagram. A lot of the people keep giving us shit about, oh, you're not shit, you're from Livermore. But he hangs out in Livermore, and he hangs out with people that we know from Livermore yeah. that are not good people. Yeah. Not, at least not they're not on the good list okay how about that let's go back bring it back bring it back to, to the, the north and south, south. The north and south uh, yeah i think eventually you not about really picking sides i mean it just if even if you're not affiliated with e any side and um, it kind of comes down to it like it's a conflict of interest i'm gonna leave it at that now let's talk about it you keep saying the word weirdo right we're from California. Everybody has their own definition of what a weirdo is, okay? When I hear the word weirdo in our circle, when we talk about weirdos, yes. we're talking about people that might like... All these all these things yes. that we're seeing on the YouTube, right? Like uh, that one YouTube guy talking about Lazy Boy. Uh, no, about Rico Too Smooth with the younger girl. That's weirdo stuff. Uh, the Lazy Boy guy with the other person, yeah. the, that person, okay? That's weirdo stuff. That's what we... Yeah, we just, uh, um, uh, signify or whatever the word weirdo with. So I don't know what kind of weirdo he's talking about. Yeah. Are you just saying it's strange? Like is he talking strange? about like stalker type of weirdo? Yeah, like that's a weirdo to me too. I mean, when I hear weirdo, weirdo because you color your hair different colors, yes. like yes. piercings or uh, tattoos or what? So I want to clarify that as well. Again, uh, about this whole rap scene, rap thing. I just, again, I don't understand why, again, people want to go and mix with other people. Right. When there are differences of opinion, there's differences of preferences, there's differences of styles. Um, again, we've already talked about this, that for some reason, the northern rappers, they like to use the N-word. They mm -hmm. like to, a lot of them aren't even Mexican. They're not even Chicanos. They're not even Latinos. Yeah. That's where I have an issue. Yeah, because, uh, because let's talk about, about that. They start calling people vices. I've seen it. Where, like, yes. they start making fun of, like, just um, in general, right? We've had interactions yeah. with some, and it's just, it, it just almost seems like it has nothing to do with the gang stuff. It just has to do with, now it just seems like they disrespect Mexicans in general. No, yeah, it just seems Call like they're being racist. Oh, right. yeah, oh, why do you speak so much Spanish in your music, or why do this and that? And it kind of, that bothers me. Yeah, because I, I feel and like it, that's more And that's racist. where I don't look at the whole blue and red stuff. It, that's where I find, because the guys that I've seen say it, are white boys or they're black guys or they're half or and, and they're and they're claiming the norte and they're yes. and they're doing it in the videos with their floors and the rags yes. but then they're talking about you know you're talking about paisas right you're talking about mexicans like i find that disrespectful because they're, they all come they're from and they're claiming a chicano gang yeah what is norte like, come on when you look into all that because that's what this topic is about yes so that's what bothers me with that with that but now let's go into the whole so we explained that right yeah. and the sureños the, the, the southern rap guys again it just growing up they, they would people wouldn't bump it here no it just wasn't a thing because there were so many at the time scene again i wasn't aware of that because that wasn't my music scene i uh, you know then everyone talks about the woody guy everyone talks about you know dark room familia uh here especially since we're so close to modesto yeah. people dark room familia was the thing sir dino sir dino yeah. now he's not sir dino okay Good now music. whatever right yeah. 
Um, so I think that's why it, it just wasn't a thing. Even if there were Sureños here in our town, because there were, there were, um, they would bump it, but it wasn't something you would hear like no. at a at a barbecue in the park yeah, or something. No. <laughs> it was like Sardino, and then you had like the other underground rappers yes. that were around here. And I think oh, I think most of them are no longer here. Yeah, I think I think they they got shot or I don't know what happened with that. But let's talk about this picket size before we run out of time. Eventually, everyone has to choose a side. And what do I mean by that? I'm not saying that you're gonna go gang bang. That's not what I'm saying. Oh, no. But what I am saying is, eventually. You, you have to, you do, you have to choose. You ha it's, it's like us, for example, we put input in situations where, like in the hair world, we do hair, we're hair size, we work in different regions, different cities, and a lot of times you get the customers that are into that lifestyle and they want to know, who do you hang with? What, what kind of people do you hang with? All right, and they'll ask you, so where would you go? Like, if you had to pick a choice, well, I don't want to, I don't have to, I don't have to do that. Yeah. But then it comes down to, you do after eventually, because eventually... I don't know how to explain that, Emily. I don't Either. know how to explain that. Not really. But it's it, kind of, I think it goes unsaid. Yeah. Um, really. But it just depends because up here, growing up, we, and it's funny we've always be, got pressed by both sides. Yeah. And it's funny because even now, like on our YouTube channel, on her YouTube channel, but I'm coming on to it, people are starting to call us scrap sympathizers, right? It's funny to me because, again, a lot of people, people don't know what scrap is. They don't know what scrap is. So there must be people from up if here. If you're from Northern right? California, you should know. It's always been like that, right? at least in our area growing so up. So we're scrap sympathizers because we speak the Spanish, because we we just happen to be, because, again, I like what a lot of these guys are saying. Before, in the past, a lot of the Sureños or Southsiders or whatever you want to call them, they were first-gen Mexicans. Yeah. They were first-gen Mexicans or they were Mexican nationals that were brought here as children and they followed that lifestyle. Yeah. Now it's weird to me to see these Norteños that are born in Mexico and want to be Norteños. That's very yeah. weird to me. And I guess it's been a thing yes. for years, but it's weird to me. Okay. Um, and now you're seeing the opposite too. You see kids that are born here and they want to be Sureños. Yeah. So it's 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 different. It's very different than what I'm accustomed to, what yes. I was raised with. But um, that's why this guy, it's just funny. He's not even from California, number one. Um, then you're using you're using terminology where like you're not saying what kind of yeah. weirdo. Um and so that's my favorable opinion, Emily. What do right. you think? Do anything else you want to add to it? Just the whole thing with the whole picking sides. And, uh, yeah, with the whole music stuff, I that's just in my opinion. I don't like that whole stuff. Oh, this guy up here wants to go do a song. Like, the guy Golto is coming down here with that other guy. He's coming down, and they're going to go. My do thing is this, okay? Like, these diss tracks, these diss tracks that yeah. you're seeing. Is anybody, no one's going to do shit. Everyone's so full of shit. I want to see action. That's yeah, what with, I want to see. With the diss track, I want right? to see action. You're going to talk shit about me in a diss track, and if I'm a real gangster, then you're. I want to see action. I want to see hundreds of cards pull up to one side or another. I want to see action. Let's get it going. Um, But I'm not promoting violence. Oh, and that's, no, another, that's thing. another That's another thing I've been seeing. I've been noticing that a lot of these rap channels, these rap producers, uh, like Shimo Entertainment, or what's his name? Media? Shimo it? Media, I some shit like that. The guy the, in every single video... This does not promote organizations. Yes, it does. Don't be fucking lying. This does not promote violence. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. Shut like the some of fuck up. right. Some of the guys that are um, <laughs> there's social media that so, says we do not promote gangs. Yeah, you fucking do. You have the. No, I get and all it. That. I get it. People are like, oh, you girls don't know what you're talking about because self incrimination. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. But again, and I know that's the way it works. I just believe right? if you really believe in something like that, then you should like really be about it. And yes. why even put that disclaimer? Oh, we don't promote. Yes. Yeah, you fucking do. Yes, you do. You should. Um, what do you call that? Um. Just believe in what you believe in it. You see them do it yes. in the videos and the rags. Yes. And como que se esconden. And then a lot of them are private. But Yeah, uh, I don't understand that. So that's just my I know take what's on going that. On that's my there. unfavorable opinion. I think if you are about it, be about it. Just the way we are. We are hairstylists. We are a I'm a mother. We're hairstylists. We're security guard. Whatever. You know, it's like be yeah. about it to the fullest. Well, like we said, anything we've always stayed true to ourselves. Any unfavorable opinions, we know what we put out there, what in return. A and, reaction has a reaction. Yeah, and I get a lot of these people, especially with their diss tracks, like how are people getting all like scared? Yes. Like, oh, people need to stop talking about, um, oh, it's gonna get crazy on the streets, or no, if there's a peace not. treaty in the prisons, why aren't they doing that out here? Very I, different. I keep though. hearing that, but that's very different, though. That's I think that's very different. I'm gonna talk about it real quick before we run out of time. Yeah. Again, it's it's just like in the hair world, right? In the hair world, sometimes you work with people that you don't like, yeah. and they are from another side of town, or they're from another side of the state. Okay, but when you're in there. It doesn't benefit us. We're going to fuck up our money if we start going at it in the salon. Yeah. So we have to be cordial in the salon, right? Then when you're on the street, it's a whole different story. Yeah. It's like we may have once worked together, roomed together, whatever, ate the same food. But once you're outside of the salon, mm -hmm. 
Same thing. Same thing with the music, but I keep hearing with that what I'm with seeing. the Northern California rappers. How does that not make sense to you? I keep seeing a lot of people say that with the Northern California rappers. Oh, this and that. They're very strict in this and that. I think they're confusing the actual real OG.